Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Deloitte and we are here kicking off a brand new series. Yes, College Hoops 2K8. Now, I used to love this game as a kid. I haven't really played it in almost like a decade. Like, in this last 10 years, I've probably picked it up here and there, but I haven't done any legacy modes. I haven't really done much with the game. It's always been weird going back to it because I'm used to 2K and how 2K plays now. So I really don't know how to play this game very well. So if you're looking for a series that has extraordinary gameplay, this might not be it. Maybe eventually, you know, we get good. But for right now, this might not be it. If you're also looking for like a rebuild type of thing where we're going to just fly through a bunch of seasons very, very quickly, this also may not be the series for you. But if you like the grind... If you like going through the ups and downs, probably see us lose quite a bit at the beginning. This is that series for you, man. We're going to be taking on a career legacy, which means we have to take one of these teams that they're going to give us the option um, to take. Now, if you guys are watching this, you've seen the thumbnail or the title. I don't know how I'm going to title it or make the thumbnail yet, but you probably already know what team we're rocking with. So you're ahead of me. You know more than I know right now because I have no idea what we're going to do. I do know, though, we're going to be playing just about every single game um, per season. Now, how am I going to break it down? I probably cut it into very, very short clips. Probably put multiple games per episode. Um, I think that's probably the move. I'll see how everything plays out. Uh, but 12 minute quarters for now. I think that's fair. Um, just because that's about the six minutes per quarter in um, regular 2K games. We're going to go with that. Um, that should give us about 50 to 70 points per game in that range. Injuries on, player transfers, that has to be on, man. Um, players leave early, of course. We have to go through the ups and downs of a basketball college team. Now, granted, the players that we have are probably not leaving early. They're probably not going nowhere um, for a while. Uh, we, uh, we'll keep the help, help on, man. It's been a while since I played. Um, yes, we want to customize the schedule. We'll leave the conferences as is. So, um... There we go, man. Let's go into, I think it's the coach creation. There we go, man. Let's go ahead. Hop into that, man. Uh, let's see how we figure this out right here. Hopefully, everybody is having a great day as well as we go through and hop in and uh, try to become the next legendary coach out here. If we could go ahead and get our name in there. All right. So, we will. How old do we want to be? Let's be a little bit older. Not, not in the 40s. Be a young-ish, but still old coach. So let's go like 33. That sounds like a good start. Let's go 33. That sounds about right. So we'd be a former player and just be crazy tall. Just be like 6'5". Yeah, we're like 6'5", man. We, we did this thing for real. We was really out here hooping. Um, we'll go with this head, I guess. Six suit tights. Let's go right there. All right. Attributes, man. How are we going to go ahead and be like, are we going to, I don't know, man. Offense, what does this do? Boost the offensive awareness. Do we really need that? We need defensive awareness. We're going to be all about defense over here. Uh, teaching how fast they progress. Ah, man. Scouting, charisma. Is that it gives your recruiting actions more impact. Well, we, we need that. Oh, man, this is tough. All right, so we're going to go uh, reveal information about recruits faster. Let's go with teaching C, charisma C, defense B minus. We are a trash coach. But here we go, man. This is the fun part. You guys already know. Um, but this is where we choose our team. So all of these teams aren't that good, man, at all. We have Howard up there. I don't know where we want to go. I see. I do see the overalls. I'm not really too concerned about that, though, just because we're going to be recruiting and trying to get a better team. Oh, man, we are going to rock with. Man, this one's so tough. There's like no team. Hey, they got Princeton up here. There's like no team that's like in a big conference. That sucks. So we're really starting from the bottom out here, man. 
Yeah, we really out here going to um, gonna need to grind. All right, so we don't want to be in the sweat because it seems like all of their teams are, <laughs> are on this list. So we are going to rock with... Uh, let's go with... Man, so indecisive. So many choices on teams that I have no clue about. <laughs> no idea who they are. Of course... The rosters are randomly generated as well. Um, let's just go with UC Riverside, man. UC Riverside out there in the Big West. Um, that's gonna be our squad. I don't even know the roster yet, man. When I I signed the deal, don't even know who the players are. When I walk into that locker room for the first time, that's the first time I'm gonna see these players. Um, Catman. Oh, so we got to choose our assistant coaches. All right. So if we can't scout. Or don't have good. We need to have a good coach with charisma. So we're gonna go ahead and get Cadman. His ambition is decent. I don't think that means. I think that means he's not gonna leave and go for a better job. Uh, we also want somebody who could also provide pretty solid defense. But I do know how important this charisma thing is, if I remember correctly. So uh, Sandy Curry. This man knows no defense, though, man. This guy knows defense. His charisma is trash. Like, nobody like F charisma, bro? Like, nobody likes you? <laughs> Maybe we can use him for the scouting and the defense. I mean, this guy might be a little bit better. At least he got a, a D charisma. Maybe. Here we go. This guy got C charisma. C plus defense. Jonathan Ainge, man. You're going to be our second assistant coach. All right, for the schedule, we got to have a couple of big name schools because our conference is going to be trash. We are on the road for the first four games. Texas Tech, we're going to keep that as a big school. Uh, I mean, we might be all right with this schedule. Idaho, Minnesota's another, you know, big school. San Diego State, USC. So we got some, we got some nice stuff in there. Um, let's see if we can put in a um, in-season tournament. Those are always fun. Like the College Hoops Classic. Or the NIT season kickoff. Let's go with that. Ah, that conflicts. Are all of these going to conflict? I think all of these are going to conflict. All right, so maybe we do that next season. We're going to just keep this schedule uh, for now. Yeah, keep the schedule for now, man. Then we'll take a look at the roster. We'll skip. You can, you know, watch some AAU games or recruits. We don't have any recruits right now, so we're going to just skip that for now. But that will be dope, especially as we get into this and we get a couple seasons in. Maybe, you know, we can start looking at or playing with some of our recruits in high school. Um, but for right now, I don't know who we're trying to recruit, man. All right, so quick, man. We got 3,000 recruiting points. Um, 234 points this week. We do have four scholarships, which means we have quite a few seniors. Um, so I'm guessing management. Where we want to, here we go. Let's take a look at the roster, man. Let's just go by position. The sorted by position. We have no. We got no point guards, bro, or shooting guards. I mean, or small forwards or centers. What kind of roster? <laughs> Oh, man, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. All right, so we have Jimmy Bishop, six-foot shooting guard, junior. Maybe he could rock with us at the point guard spot. He could shoot some threes, 77 three-point shot, which is solid. Um, hands, 83. So, I mean, I guess he could catch. Cool. Uh, he's not a dunker. He's six feet. He can't lay the ball up that well either. So he's just a shooter, man. We're going to shoot with this guy, and uh, that's it. Because his passing is also a 50. Uh, his defense is a 73. So there we go. We can play some defense. Hopefully, he's not stealing the ball from nobody. Has just average speed. Very underwhelming. But, you know, hey, this is, this is what we have to work with, man. Um... Oh, handling. That's probably not hands. That's ball handling, I think. 
All right, so he could dribble. All right, cool. So he could probably play the point guard position for us. Um, and then we have Rudy Ali, 6'2", senior shooting guard. He's our best player on the team, I believe. He cannot shoot threes, though, like at all. So um, he can lay it up. He's a slasher. There we go. 86 dunking. 88 layup, 84 free throw, ball handling is okay. He could pass better than our shooting guard, uh, our, our point guard, I guess. 84 speed. The vert is amazing, 95 vert. So this guy, okay, 6'2", he needs that vert to be able to dunk. Um, so, I mean, we'll take it. He just not, he's not going to spread the floor out for us, but you know. Who, who really is? We got a freshman right here, 6'1", shooting guard. We have a really short team, man. Um, he is okay. He might catch this red shirt. Honestly, he might really catch this red shirt. Uh, we got a junior right here, Booker Clinton. He can't really shoot. <laughs> uh, he can't lay it up either. He could dunk, I guess. So, I mean, there's that. Um, I'm never gonna look at this guy, man. This, I mean, he's a walk on. Bless his heart. Uh, but uh, you're you're a junior, bro, and you're a 54 overall. So clearly, you haven't he hasn't been taking this thing seriously at practice. Um, Demetrius Bronson, please be able to shoot. He can't shoot either. All right. I mean, he, I don't know what you're good at, man. I don't. How am I supposed to play you? And I don't even know what you're good at. All right. So we are going to have to play somebody at the three. And uh. We got one guy who's 6'4". And then we got a bunch of power forwards. Maybe one of these guys can play the three. 6'8", 6'8", 6'8". All right, so everybody's 6'8". So we're going to be... We're like the Houston Rockets out here, man. We're 6'8 and below. No size. We got a dude from Africa. Uh, he's 6'7". We're not stretching the floor with that 35'3". I'll tell you that. Um, low post offense is a 59 so once again um no idea <laughs> no idea what he's, he could dunk i guess there we go he could dunk the ball um hardy howl seen bro you're a 55 senior bro you gotta get out of here with that uh 60 overall felton ellis i mean we're not stretching we're not stretching the floor at all uh, we're not playing defense. We're not getting buckets. <laughs> Never been more disappointed in the team <laughs> than I am right now. Um, but this is going to be fun. Ty Peterson, another guy who uh, he can't even dunk that good. But he has low post offense, low post defense. So hook shot game going to be on point. Uh, he can rebound okay. So Ty Peterson is going to be our guy, man. He might be the center. He's 6'8". 215 so small man do they have strength a strength rating 59 strength maybe we play jamie outlaw just to give him playing time i mean can't hurt right he's a freshman can't hurt at this point uh so there we go there we go um <laughs> i don't really know all right recruiting priority uh, we need some shooting. If we can get size and shooting, offensive playbook. I mean, we're I don't really know all these too well. Um, I guess we'll roll a box. Motion, we're definitely not four out. Flex, you need some big guys that can pass. Maybe our guys could do that a little bit. Maybe we can run that. Um, the high post. Ah uh, man, I don't know, man. We'll we'll, we'll tinker with this throughout the season i want to go man to man i really don't even want to play zone unless we have to roll with a two three um our pressure defense uh let's go oh man i don't know man we'll go with the one two two i guess full court press we definitely want a one two one one we'll rock with that We'll rock with that, I think. Um, just after every basket, we want to press. We definitely want to get up. Get up in them, man. Pause. <laughs> that's, that's what we want to do. Uh, all right. So, offensive tempo. 
I mean, I guess we'll mess with all this stuff later, man. But our roster, our roster looks uh, looks extremely suspect. I guess they went ahead and put Peterson in at center four, so they understand what we're rocking with. Um, the Aaron Bay, I mean, I'm cool with him as a sophomore. I mean, I, do we really have a choice, really? Uh, they put Bishop at the two. I mean, I guess he's a he's a shooter, and we could just try to get to the basket, maybe run some pick and rolls with Ali. Um, our bench though is uh <laughs> oh man, I I don't really know how to explain the bench. It's it's it's. It's something, man. Let's go ahead and let's try to figure out some recruiting. All right. So now one recruit has very high interest, um, which I guess is to be expected. But we do have some players that have high interest. And this is what we can work with a little bit, man. Because uh, we got four scholarships that we got to we gotta go ahead and um, sucker four people in the signing. <laughs> in the signing with us. But I mean, some of the guys here aren't terrible ike victor 6-1 i mean we're, that's not helping too much with size but he's from encinitas california which isn't too far so i mean hey and he's ranked you know what i mean 705 in the nation i mean we can't say that for nobody else here so i mean that's solid uh i think you have to i think we literally have to like email the guy at least once to be able to put him on our list so we'll do that for right now um aldrin sneed is the center he's six eight like i'm tired of these small guys man but i mean hey we'll we'll take the interest beggars can't be choosers right so we'll take the interest um oh here we go add a target list. that's how we do it so we're gonna add these guys to the target list um dave thibodeau six five he's actually a small forward you know we don't have we don't have none of those man but it looks like he can't shoot either Hey, hey, man. It's going to be rough out here. We're going to see if we can try to find some other people that might be close to home or something. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's looking bleak already. All right, guys. So we added a bunch of guys to the target list. Obviously, um, we're probably not going to get a lot of them. But just so you guys can see the list for right now. Um, we added, you know, the, some of the guys you've seen earlier, of course. We added a bunch of centers. This guy was 7'2 from Compton, man. So, hey, um, <laughs> I don't even care if you're good, man. You're 7'2, bro. We, we, we need all the sides we can get. Um, a 6'9 center, a 6'3 point guard. You kind of see the theme because we don't have them scouted, so we don't know what they're good at. 6'10 center. We're just trying to look for size. Uh, and then once we start scouting a little bit more, we even got a, um, a Juco guy, sophomore, but he's 6'4 at the um, point guard position. I like that. So um, we're going to start scouting these guys over the next few weeks, but this is going to be our board for now. I'll also start adding juniors as we get a little bit further because you can recruit, which is pretty dope, man, if you look at it. You can recruit all the way up to freshmen in high school and just track them this whole way. So... We'll start adding some juniors and stuff as we get a little bit further. But for right now, I definitely want to focus on, you know, the graduating class to see who we can try to bring in. All right, so I guess we get some weekly development points. We have two drills this week. We definitely want to try to um, get some of our guys a little bit better, to say the least. So what we're going to start for right now, man, is Bishop, our shooting guard. Um, he can shoot a little bit. See that 77 three-point rating is so close to 78. So we're going to try to do a three-point drill. I don't know how good this stuff worked um, or how good I was at them, but we're going to try and see what happens. All right, so I think we just got to get perfect release and we're missing. Okay. All right, man. There we go. There we go. We spraying out here, baby. All right, get it back. It's Bishop. Bishop. I think we gotta knock it down in a lot of time. Let's go. Bishop ain't bad, man. He can spray a little bit. Okay. All hope is not lost. All hope is not lost. Okay, we're starting to miss. We're starting to miss. 
Okay, we're starting to miss the game. I don't even know if we were in the zone. Okay, this is not his spot, man. This is a, we're not even in the zone right there. Is this a cold spot? This might be a cold zone for him, man. There we go. Let's go. All right, rebounders. I'm going to need y'all to give me the ball quick. All right, knock this down. All right, man. That's that, that's it. That's... <laughs> ah, all right, we didn't get it. We were close. We needed 1,900 points. We got, uh, we got 1,800 points. I feel the same way, bro. All right, so we're going to do the attack the basket drill with our guy Rudy Ali because he cannot shoot, remember? He's going to be our point guard, but he can attack the basket. Maybe we should work on a lesser player, but if we can make him as good as possible at attacking the basket and straight slashing, um, hopefully that's a win. All right, here we go, man. So I think we just got to perform the action that they're saying to do. This one shouldn't be... Shouldn't be too difficult because he can dunk, so. Um, hopefully he's not that bad. I do not know the buttons on this though, man. This is really weird. Alright, so this one was uh was cake, man. So my guy Ollie gets enough points to see uh what happens. So plus eleven percent. I don't think he moved up in either his dunk or his layup, but hey, it's progress. All right, guys, so we have our Midnight Madness, basically our team scrimmage. That's what we're going to be playing here in this episode before we hop into the regular season. I just wanted to get, show you guys again the actual settings we're going to be playing on. For right now, we're going to rock with all conference. So we have ways to move up. We have MOP, All-American. Um, until I get used to the game, I think we're going to rock with all conference. If it's too easy, I'm not afraid at all to bump it up. But um, I don't even know how to play the game too well, man. Like I said, I'm just over here tapping... Tapping B and Y because those how you do that's how you do crossovers and spins and stuff and I don't really know how the rest of it works so we'll go ahead jump straight into our midnight madness we're using the starters bro uh, <laughs> uh, we should crush the backups but we'll see what happens all right so the first you know time we'll at least see our guys the student rec center we don't even have a name for our arena but you know hey you know. <laughs> It's all good, man. Let's go ahead and uh, beat up on the backups. Hopefully, it'll be a bad sign if we can't even do that. Bishop, first shot. And Bishop can't get it, but let's go. Todd Peterson. All right. All right, somebody, bro. <laughs> okay, this is not, none of this is working. Here we go, Todd Peterson, man. He has that low post offense. Hit that, let's go. While we're at the free throw line, man, I don't know if I get a good angle. Can we just appreciate how nobody's at this game? <laughs> it's the worst midnight man is ever, man. There's just... Can't get a good angle at it, man. There's just not a lot of people here. Oh, let's go. We broke that press, too? Uh, all right, man. Bishop is not a, um, not a slasher. Oh, let's go. Todd. Lay. Thank you. I thought he blew another layup. Oh, we still didn't bat. Ah, it was close. And got us with the pump fake. And we are losing to the backups. But um, that's what we're going to try to do at least. Foul and one. Oh, Leia. Oh, my guy, Ali, man. Rebound. Ah, they got the on board. No, 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 man. Why is this press doing this to us right now? I know we don't have no great ball handlers or passes, but. So does I say we don't have no good passes. They're knocking down threes in our face now, man. Yo, did you just fall? Yo, what is going on right now, man? <laughs> yo, yo, we didn't get that either. All right. 
Come on, man. Let's play D. Half court defense. Ah, oh, man. We didn't get that steal. They blew the layup. It's crazy, bro, because we suck. Even our backups, and they're still blowing us out. Oh, let's go. Right to the basket. Oh, let's go. Good steal. Ali, Ali, all the way. He got blocked. He got it back, though. Let's go, baby. Ali, man. Let's go. Todd. Todd finishing it with two hands. All right, last shot. Let's go. Let's play D, man. No way. All right, down seven and a half. I mean, I feel like we could try to come back. Let's go. Good. All right, they got it to 10, man. I thought it was good defense, but I was wrong. Oh, wide open. I know you can't shoot Ali, but he hits it. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Ty Peterson, man. There's no way. Hmm. All right. Another one, man. You need that size. Two, three zone, and they hit another three. Thank you. Take a shot. Finally stop that run. Pick and roll. Ali, let's go. The roll, man. Todd going up strong, baby. Uh, one, two, one, one is not. No, man. There's... <laughs> Let's look at this Oak Palavi guy. He's a sophomore with 79 three point rating. Damian Oak Palavi from Diamond Bar, California. He just he just earned himself a, a spot in this rotation somewhere, man, as a walk on. We might as well get this guy a scholarship. He's four for six from three. Incredible. If he hits another one. Oh, why'd he even pass that? <laughs> why did he pass that? Yo, we blew the dunk. What? Yo. Yo, no way, bro. No way. Yo. Yo, epic fail. Epic fail at the biggest magnitude ever, bro. How? How do you miss that dunk? You are all by yourself. Some guys shouldn't be dunking. Double. Yo, Akpalabi, does he got it again? He finally missed one. Let's go. Ali, he's at the basket, baby. Too strong. Rebound? Hey, we might be in this. Let's go. Let's push it. Let's go, Bishop. Finding Ali. Ali with the layup. Let's go. Eight-point game. Oh, I thought we were going to steal that. No, he's too... Lucky bounce. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We get those right back. And they're throwing it away. Press is working. Oh, got him in the air. Got him in the air. And we finishing. Yo, let's go, man. Can we actually pull this off? Oh, come on, bro. We got to steal those. Yeah, we can pull this off. We get a stop on defense right here. Basically, the rest of the game, we, we might need stops, but... No, Akbalabi. No, spinning in the lane. Crazy layup and Ollie got it. Ah, 
Alcalade dagger, man. That's the dagger right there. Nothing else we can do, I don't think. Bishop deep three. Bang, let's go. It's, it's game over, but Bishop finally hit a three. We're playing the intentional foul game, but I don't think there's much, uh, <laughs> it's much we can do. Yo, Ali hit triple three. Alright guys, so final score is 64 to 58. Um we lost to the backups. That is uh not a good a good sign moving forward, but we did learn a lot, a lot about our team today, man. Uh I mean field goal percentage was roughly close. We shot a higher a better field goal percentage, 53%. They were 51%. They knocked down more threes. We know who did that. Akbalabi, bro. We'll look at his stats here in a second. Assist was fine. Turnovers seven. And I'm cool with that. Uh, we had way more. They only had one team foul, which is crazy. Our team fouls, a lot of it was intentional fouling at the end. They out rebounded us, but by one that was close. Uh, steals, blocks, points in the paint. Uh, we definitely dominated there. Uh, so I mean, I mean we're way higher overall than them though. So that's that's the we lost to a 55 overall team. That's the scary, the scary part. Uh, for us though, Ali nine for 16, 22 points. I like that um, in 20 minutes. So I definitely do like that. Uh, Bishop was supposed to be our guy knocking down the threes. He struggled shooting three for 10. He was one for four from three. Um, I don't think we really, I mean, we shot another three with Drake. He was wide open. Um, Ty Peterson did not play bad at all. 12 and 8. Uh, we'll take that um, down low. Um, the second half, we played much closer, losing by one point. Uh, but 29 points from Akpalabi. 7 of 12 from three. Like, where did, where did this come from, man? The walk on. Like I said, he earned a spot on this team for sure. All right, guys. So after the game, we just had to put Akpalabi in the game. He was 10th on the um, depth chart. We moved him up to 6th, man. Um, he's a 58 overall, so he has some type of boost. But we want to give him a shot and see, you know, he's 6'4", if he could kind of help spread things out. Um, one of our taller guards, so he could play the 2 or the 3. So we gave him 23 minutes. Um, which will be 14 minutes with our 12 minute halves. Um, we took some minutes away from Clinton. We'll see how things rock with that. Um, maybe eventually we take out Clinton and put in Akpalabi. We'll see how how we want to kind of play this. But um, this is going to be our roster starting things off. So we're going to roll with Rodi Ali because he's our slasher. I like him. Um, Jimmy Bishop. Is going to be our starting shooting guard. He's supposed to be able to shoot. He struggled a little bit in the first or in the scrimmage, but hopefully he can get things together in regular game. Um, Booker Clinton ain't that much of a shooter, um, but he could dunk. He could slash it a little bit. So we're going to keep him in there at that spot for now. Um, Aaron Bay, uh, he grabbed some boards. He did some decent things. I like him. He has a 78 speed for a big man. So. That hopefully will be pretty well for us. His low post game, though, not that great. Um, Ty Peterson does have a solid low post game. Uh, he played good for us, so we're going to keep him there at center. Then Agpalabi. Then we'll have Bronson Ellis Bills, who got a couple assists, but he's only playing three minutes, and that is basically um, our entire roster. So that's what we're going to be rocking with for the first game. We're going to end this episode right here. In the next episode, if you guys want to see the season preview show, it's going to be all randomly generated names. We could play that. Um, but then Texas Tech will be in the next episode. Probably even UT Arlington will see how everything plays out. But as usual, man, hope you guys are excited for this series. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please go ahead, leave this video a like, man. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.